What's going on? Today we're going to be making the best gosh darn eggs benedict you ever did have. We're going to start by reducing some white balsamic vinegar in a pan, and then we're going to add a shallot. Look at my buddy Mike, he just cut up that shallot so beautifully, with a nice squash blossom on his forearm. Once the shallots all cut up, we're going to go over to the pan, add that into the add that into our vinegar while it's reducing, throw in a couple bay leaves, black peppercorn, a couple sprigs of tarragon, and let that reduce. Next, we're going to start making our biscuits. So you're going to weigh out some flour, baking soda, baking powder, bam, uh, a little bit of salt, buttermilk. Then we're going to unwrap our butter, cut it into manageable sized pieces, and get that on the scale. You're going to add the butter into your flour and break it up with your hands so it's nice pea-sized pieces so you get some nice flaky biscuits. I'm going to cut up some chives real quick to add to our biscuits. Oh yeah, let's talk about it real quick. Add them into the bowl with the biscuit mixture. Grate some fresh cheddar into there. Not fresh cheddar, I guess it's freshly grated cheddar so that makes sense. Freshly grated cheddar. Boom, now we're gonna keep mixing. Time to add the wet ingredients. And watch these biscuits form right in front of your eyes. You need the dough slightly, you don't wanna melt, do it too much, you'll melt the butter. Then you're gonna grab your trusty rolling pin. In our case, it's a bottle of Jameson, because I don't own a rolling pin. And roll it up to a nice, even, about inch thick piece of dough. We're going to cut into squares because we don't have round cutters and we don't want any waste on our biscuits. Then have a debate whether round or square biscuits are better. Then you're going to bring them over to a nicely buttered pan. Place the biscuits on there. Evenly spaced. Brush them with a little buttermilk to get them nice and golden when they're baking in the oven. Ooh yeah. Since the Jameson's up, we're going to have a shot of it because why not? By the big butter cheers. Then we're gonna roll up a little bit of tarragon, chiffonade it. And so we go into our hollandaise sauce when it's done. We also cut up a little chives for that too. Now that our vinegar reduction is done, we're gonna strand off all those little bits and we're gonna use that for our hollandaise sauce. So we're gonna start by separating, I would say, four eggs from the yolks. Two, three, four, nailed it. We're gonna put our bacon in the oven before we make the hollandaise sauce. So just lay out a piece of aluminum on a sheet pan, evenly lay out your bacon, then throw that in the oven at 400 degrees. Now it's time to start our hollandaise sauce. We've got a pot of water and a bowl over top of it. You want your water simmering before you put your bowl on it so you can create that steam. So it's not going to actually cook the eggs. You dump in your egg yolks, add your vinegar reduction, and whip these eggs till they become light and fluffy. They look like they're about ready to come off, and we can add some butter. So, you're going to slowly stream in butter to your egg mixture. This is going to create your hollandaise sauce. Slowly stream in your butter to this egg mixture and constantly whisk. If you add butter too fast, you will split your hollandaise. You'll have to start all over. Well, there's actually a trick, but I'm not going to show you that in this video to save your hollandaise. Add herbs, mustard, and a little hot sauce. Give it a good mix, and then your hollandaise will be ready to go. I think it's about 70% cooked, so we're going to add a bunch of fresh cracked black pepper to it. Drizzle with some dark maple syrup, fresh from the Canadian trees. Throw that back in the oven and finish cooking. In the same water we use for our bain marie, we'll add a splash of vinegar. Crack two eggs into a container, then pour them into the water once we give it a stir. This is how we're going to poach our eggs. You want a nice medium poach. Look at them biscuits. Slice a biscuit in half, and we can begin plating. Rip a couple of those candied black pepper bacon strips up, put them on the biscuits. Add your poached eggs. Oh, and then Mike's gonna come over with that fresh hollandaise and let that cascade down the eggs all over the plate. Oh yeah, look at that drip. And there you have it, eggs Benedict. Easy enough. Make sure you take a couple pictures for the gram. Peace.